all going to have to come down to the details. So I'm going to have to eliminate Chef Steph. Chef, it was a beautiful chocolate cake. It just didn't have that molten center I was really looking for. Chef Stephanie, sorry, ma'am. That means I'm going to need that cash back in this case. I hate to see you go. Thanks so much for having me. Pleasure. Thank you. The money. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. The most important part of a lava cake is the oozy center. No ooze for me, no ahs for my cake. And that's the way the lava flows. Chefs, congratulations on surviving to this, the second round of Cutthroat Kitchen. For you, the competition continues immediately. Round two, I'm gonna give you 30 minutes to make a savory chocolate dish. And then my world comes crashing down. I have not done any savory cooking professionally in my entire career. Your 60-second uh, uh, shopping time begins now. So I figure I'll make a ragu. I grab bacon, hot Italian sausage, spaghetti squash, yogurt. I grab a lot of vegetables. I got this. You got 30 seconds. So what I learned from the last round was to keep things simple and classic. Just being able to trust the flavor profiles to make things elevated on the palate. So my plan for this round is to make a simple summer salad. Four, three, two, one. Looking at Chef Dwayne's basket, he doesn't even have a protein. And then Chef Jackie looks like she got every vegetable in there. I have no idea how she's gonna pull that together. Let's take a look at our first item up for auction. Eggs and fish. Fish and chocolate? I mean, who does this? Win this auction, though, and you can force two of your opponents to swap their proteins, their meats, for one of these items. And if you don't currently have a protein in your basket, guess what? You're gonna, and you'll have to use it. Fish and chocolate? Not so much. I'm going to make sure that I don't get that fish. 1,200. 1,200. Do I hear 13? 1,300. 1,300. I have it from Chef 1500. Dwayne. 1,500. 1,500 to Chef Ben. 17. 1,700 for the man on 1800. the end. $1,800. I know if I took either of these items, they're going to go great with the dish. 1,800 scurn high bid going once at 18, twice at 18. Sold to Chef Jackie for $1,800. What a bargain. Bring me some money, ma'am. Chef Dwayne's the target. I have a feeling he's a little more than meets the eye. Hi, boys. Chef Dwayne. Happy fishing. You know what? I may be a pastry chef, but I'm still a chef. And I know flavors. I can find a way to make this work. All right, let's take a look at our second item up for bidding. Holy smokes, it's even more chocolate. Huh. Well, maybe we just get some extra chocolate. What I'm really interested in in this case is not actually the chocolate, but the wrapper and the foil. Whoever wins this item will be able to go to one of their opponents and uh, remove from their possession all of their knives, all of their utensils, and all of their vessels, which will have to be made of these wrappers and this foil. So, who wants to foil one of their opponents? I'm already a little bit shaky on my lack of savory skill. This cannot come my way. Four thousand. Four thousand dollars. Forty-five hundred. Forty-five hundred. Do I hear forty-six? Forty-six. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Why mess with all those in-between numbers? Seven thousand dollars now. The high bid is Chef Dwayne. Take my knives. Take my bowls. Take my pans. Twinkle Toes still has to cook some fish. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Eight thousand. I've got eight thousand dollars to the man on the end. Eighty-two hundred to Chef Ben in the middle. Now look over at Chef Ben, and he is determined. At this point in time, I just have to simply bow down and let him have it. Sold to Chef Ben for eight thousand two hundred dollars. Bring it on over, sir. Chef Ben, you need to be strategic. We can take out Chef Dwayne one two punch. So who wants this more? Please, 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 God, don't let him give me these chocolate balls. No takers? I would rather not. <laughs>